Hello, welcome to today's episode of the Open Heavens Daily Devotional Podcast. I am Adeleko Bolanle, and today, 25th of May, year 2024, the title of our Open Heavens is The Benefits of Knowing Jesus. Before we continue, let us pray. Heavenly Father, we give you all the glory, we adore you, and we appreciate you for your faithfulness and your kindness in our lives. Lord, be exalted in the name of Jesus. Father, we pray that even as we study your word today, Lord, speak to us in the name of Jesus. We pray in the name of Jesus that, Lord, you will ex- we will experience a, a new grace and experience you in more dimensions today than ever before in the name of Jesus. For in Jesus' precious name, we have prayed. Amen. Our memory verse is from Daniel chapter 11, verse 32. And it says, And such as do wickedly against the covenant shall he corrupt by flatteries, but the people that do know their God shall be strong and do exploits. A Bible passage is taken from Philippians chapter 3, from verse 7 to 11. And it reads, I once thought these things were valuable, but now I consider them worthless because of what Christ has done. Yes, everything else is worthless when compared with the infinite value of knowing Christ Jesus, my Lord. For his sake, I have discarded everything else, counting it all as garbage, so that I could gain Christ and become one with him. I no longer count on my own righteousness through obeying the law. Rather, I become righteous through faith in Christ. For God's way of making us right with himself depends on faith. I want to know Christ and experience the mighty power that raised him from the dead. I want to suffer with him, sharing in his death, so that one way or another I will experience the resurrection from the dead. Hallelujah. May the Lord bless the reading of his word in our hearts in the name of Jesus. Amen. Let us go into the open heavens as written by our Father in the Lord. The joy that comes from knowing God is immeasurable. However, joy is just one of the many benefits enjoyed by those who know him from our memory verse. You will understand that those who know their God will be strong and do exploits as a Christian. You do not have to be fearful about the challenges that come with everyday life. God has empowered you to overcome whatever obstacle you might encounter. The Bible says in Romans chapter 8 verse 37, We are more than conquerors through him that loved us. Furthermore, knowing Jesus empowers you to walk in victory every day and to be bold in the face of trials. Proverbs chapter 28 verse 1. Fear can paralyze a fellow, but God has not given you the spirit of fear, but of power, love, and a sound mind. 2 Timothy chapter 1 verse 7. Knowing God and understanding his perfect love for you enables you to live above fear. The Bible says in 1 John chapter 4 verse 18. There is no fear in love, but perfect love casted out fear, because fear hath torment, he that feareth is not made perfect in love. After his encounter with the Lord, Paul was so full of joy from knowing the true God that he penned the words of today's Bible reading, in which he confessed wholeheartedly that Jesus was everything to him. Even after he had attained great height in the Lord, he still longed to know him better because he discovered that the more of Jesus he knew, the more joyful, fulfilled, satisfied, and hopeful of eternal life he became. I pray that you will experience this type of joy in Jesus' name. Amen. Beloved, knowing Jesus increases your faith in him. And as you increase in faith, you please God more. The Bible says in Hebrews chapter 11 verse 6, that without faith, it is impossible to please God. The joy of having eternal life is drawn from knowing Jesus. 
John 17 verse 3 says, And this is life eternal, that they may know thee, the only true God, and Jesus Christ, whom thou hast sent. To know Jesus is to know peace, because he is the Prince of Peace. Knowing Jesus is knowing prosperity and abundance. Matthew 14, 14 to 21. 2 Corinthians 8, 9. Knowing him is knowing divine healing and better still, divine health. 1 Peter 2, verse 24. All this and more had the benefit of knowing our Savior. Beloved, do you truly know Jesus? Hallelujah. We bless God for the word he sent to us today through our Father in the Lord. And the title of today's Open Heaven is The Benefits of Knowing Jesus. Today in our Open Heavens, our Father in the Lord, drawing from the lessons from the life of Paul, Apostle Paul said in the book of Philippians chapter 3 that he wants to know God more, that he does know those things he has attained. He's putting it in the past and he wants to know more of God. He wants to experience more of him. And in this scripture, Daniel chapter 11 verse 32, it tells us that those that know their God shall be strong and they shall do experts. So there are so many benefits we, we gain, we stand to gain when we know God. And in the last paragraph of the Open Heaven, the Father and the Lord listed them. That when you know God, you have peace, you have abundance, you have prosperity, healing, you have divine health, and also you are strong, you do exploits, and then God empowers you to overcome any obstacle you may encounter, and it gives us power, gives us love, gives us joy. Knowing God gives love, it gives joy, joy that passes all on the peace and joy that passes all understanding. And our Father and the Lord is asking this salient question that, do you truly know Jesus? This is a question for us to answer. If you don't know Jesus, kindly ask him to come into your life today, that you want to know him, you want to have a relationship with him, and you want to encounter his power, his strength. You want to be one with him, and you want to live in him. Ask Jesus to come into your life today. Our prayer point says, Father, Please reveal more of your son to me daily. Can we pray that, Father, please reveal more of your son to me daily. I want to know your son more, your son Jesus. I want to have a personal experience with him. I want to know him daily. I want to experience his strength, his words, his power, his wisdom, and everything that is in him. For in Jesus' name we are prayed. Amen. A him for today. Is in 27. What a friend we have in Jesus. And our Bible in one year is from Esther chapter 6 to chapter 10. Thank you for listening to today's episode. Don't forget to subscribe to this podcast. Kindly subscribe to this podcast. And remember to share today's episode with your friends and your family. Thank you once again. Have a great day and God bless you. Thank you.